During the past day, the defense forces of Ukraine managed to eliminate more than 1,500 soldiers of the Russian Federation, as well as successfully destroy 13 tanks, 23 artillery systems and 51 troop-carrying AFVs of the enemy, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. On October 17, 210 combat clashes and several thousand shellings were recorded at the front. Ukrainian missile forces and artillery caused significant damage to the Russian army. The defense forces of Ukraine continue to restrain the onslaught of the enemy and effectively resist Russian aggression. According to the General Staff of the Armed Forces, the situation on the battlefield remains tense. The Russian invaders, using their advantage in manpower and equipment, constantly storm the positions of the Ukrainian defenders. Despite this, the defense forces of Ukraine restrain the onslaught of the enemy and inflict large-scale losses on him every day. The Russian invaders carried out 62 airstrikes against the positions of Ukrainian units and settlements, in particular, dropped 113 anti-aircraft missiles. In addition, the enemy launched more than 4,060 attacks, 125 of them from rocket salvo systems, and engaged about 1,450 kamikaze drones for destruction. The aggressor carried out airstrikes, in particular in the areas of Myropilia, Pisarivka, Steri Saltiv, Yampolivka, Torsky, Lyman, Tverdolibov, Siversk, Zvanivka, Chasiv Yar, Kurakov, Antonivka, Velika Novosilka, Sherbanivka, Toritsk, Periyazn, Velika Novosilka, Zelin Pol, Timurivka, General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine said. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Thursday that support from his embattled nation's Western allies is key to his victory plan to end the country's devastating war with Russia as he laid out details of the plan to European Union leaders. The EU is a key supporter of Ukraine, a candidate member of the 27-nation bloc, as it fights Russia's invasion that began more than two and a half years ago. Major points of the plan include an invitation for Ukraine to join NATO and permission to use Western-supplied longer-range missiles to strike military targets deep inside Russia, steps that have been met with reluctance by Kiev's allies so far. Immediate invitation to Ukraine to join NATO would be decisive. Of course, membership would follow later, said Zelensky, stressing that Russian President Vladimir Putin must see that his geopolitical calculations are worthless. Zelensky added that it is vital to apply pressure on Putin by bringing the war back into Russia so that Russians can feel what war is like. Thursday's talks in Brussels come as Ukrainian troops are struggling to hold off better equipped Russian forces, especially in the eastern Donetsk region where they are gradually being pushed back. Kiev is surviving with Western help, but Ukraine says it is coming too slowly. Putin is preparing his own reinforcements to continue the war, not end it. Of course, Putin wants to match your country's ammunition production by next year. And he is getting help from North Korea with shells, equipment, now even people. And plus Iran. Unfortunately, we are receiving signal that China is still actively helping Russia drag out this war. And we have clear intelligence data. We need to strengthen now. The victory plan is designed for this moment, and I urge all of you to help make it happen. If we start now and follow the victory plan, we can end this war no later than next year. We start our meeting. Immediate invitation to Ukraine to join NATO would be decisive. Of course, membership would follow later. Putin just must see that his geopolitical calculations are worthless. And an invitation now with membership later will have no political cost. It's a strong decision that requires nothing but determination. Welcome, please. Uh, you have the floor. We must continue to apply pressure on Russia on the battlefield. 
and it's realistic to maintain positions on the front within Ukrainian territory while also bringing the war back into Russia so that Russians can feel what war is like and begin to hate Putin for it. Of presidentship and uh, thanks for all the decisions. Your political decision on 35 billion euros for Ukraine as part of the G7's resolution on 50 billion dollars from Russia assets is extremely important and is needed as soon as soon as possible.